Welcome my little pretties and no I am not dead. I've just been really sick lately and I just haven't been feeling up to making any videos but here I am back filming videos for you guys and I missed it. I missed you guys. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful Christmas or whatever holiday that it is that you celebrate. I hope that it was a great one and I hope that you guys all had an amazing new year. Today I am going to be sharing with you my December favorites, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I feel like it's been a running theme that I have much more skincare to tell you guys about than makeup. I don't put on a full face of makeup hardly ever anymore because my allergies have just been acting up so bad to the point where I'm just itching my face all the time and my everyday job I do cut hair and so it's just flying all over the place and it will just stick to my makeup. So I try to avoid wearing like a full cake down face of makeup. I do always do brows and mascara every day. I cannot leave the house without my brows and mascara on. So I do tend to lean more towards the skincare aspect of my beauty routine and stuff like that than my makeup. I do have a ton of makeup and I would love to review all of it for you. And I do plan on starting getting more into reviewing makeup this year. Let me know what you guys think of that down below because it is something that I have wanted to do since I started my channel. So I want to get into that. I do want to start off with the Formula 1006 stuff that I reviewed last month. I told you that I would let you guys know if I thought that it was something of these things that was breaking me out and I have kept using them and I don't think that this is what's breaking me out. I think it was just how it was getting colder out and all of that stuff and just the stress of the holidays. This is actually pretty much gone now because I've used it. This mask I have used a couple more times and I do find that it is actually helping to clear up my skin. And then this, I'm sure you can tell, I have repurchased a bigger size of the astringent or the toner. Again, whatever you like to call it. I love this stuff. I use it every morning. I have another product that I'm going to tell you about that I use every night. I just think that it helps to keep my skin really clear and fight my acne at the same time. The next couple of things that I want to talk to you about is the tea tree line by... Oh, 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 oh no. The tea tree line by The Body Shop. I have their tea tree facial wash, the tea tree toner, and the tea tree overnight mask. I love these working together, especially because, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had a huge breakout going on on my chin right here, and I'm starting to get just a couple on my cheeks. That, I definitely know, is from the weather and all of that. So I have been loving this stuff. This is what I use at night. I do use my L'Oreal Hydrogenius along with this stuff, but at night I will wash my face with the tea tree face wash, and then I will use the toner, and what I like about this toner is it has... It almost looks like there's like a sediment at the bottom, but it's really, I think it's like clay or something because you need to shake it up and it just helps to keep your skin very matte and very oil free and I need that. You guys know I am a very oily girl, so I am in love with this stuff. And then I will put on top of all of that, I will put this mask. A little goes a long way with this and it does just soak right into the skin and then I wake up in the morning and I've noticed that I'm not as oily as I would be if I didn't use this mask. So I am really loving this. Just a couple more skincare items and then I have two makeup items this month. My heater just kicked on and I really hope that you guys cannot hear it. I'm gonna unplug it just in case. Okay, next up is the Panda's Dream So Cool Eye Stick. I did just mention this in my product empties video and I finally found it again. I did not have to order it online. My local Ulta finally had it in stock and I'm so in love. I think I did have this in a favorites video a long time ago, but I do really love this. I feel like if I didn't get enough sleep and I just pop some of this underneath my eyes, I feel like it just gives me a full night's sleep just like that. It just makes my eyes feel less puffy and look a lot more awake and who doesn't need that from time to time, right? Okay, and then the last skincare item is the Bior Charcoal Liquid Face Wash. Yeah, is that what you would call this? because it's like, not liquid, but it's like cream, right? I love this stuff. 
This is what I use in the morning. This is slowly turned into a morning and nighttime routine. I swear it's not. This is what I use in the morning to wash my face twice, and then I use the Formula 1006, so totally clean, astringent, toner, whatever you guys want to call it. And this stuff I have noticed does really get into my pores and clean them out, and it just leaves me super squeaky clean, and I just love that feeling first thing in the morning. The funny thing about this stuff is I actually went to Ulta looking for the solid Bior charcoal face wash bar and they didn't have it and I've never tried this stuff so I figured I'd give it a shot and I fell in love with it. On to the two makeup items. Again, I'm sorry I don't have more makeup every month but I am going to try to have more in 2018. 2018 is the year. Let's make it a great one guys. Okay, so the first thing is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. Yes, I know, I feel like I have a mascara every single month. But I just started using this one like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago maybe. So no, I haven't been using it for the whole month. But I saw this at Walgreens one time when I was there and I remembered back in high school that I loved this stuff. I remember it was like this specific packaging and everything. And it was almost like a nostalgia feel. So I bought it and figured I'd give it a shot again. And I remembered just how much I loved this mascara. It doesn't clump, it doesn't it doesn't give you as much volume as like the Urban Decay one or the Lash Paradise, but it gives you the length. And lately I've been liking the more simple mascara where it's not super dramatic thick, but a little more on the long side. So that I think is why I fell in love with this again. I know that if you guys love Maybelline mascaras and you also love just drugstore mascaras in total, I know that you'll like this one because it's just bomb. It's awesome. It's not waterproof, but they do make a waterproof version. But it's amazing, trust me. And last but not least is the Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette. This was actually a gift from one of my friends for my birthday, and I fell in love with it right away. It doesn't look like you could do very much because there's a lot of shimmery shades in here, but I swear you can do a lot with it, especially because when I do do eyeshadow, I tend to lean more towards the simple, smoky-ish eye, kind of like what I have on today. All I did for my look today was I popped a little bit of Spoiled Sexy in the crease and then I put Mink Magnet in the outer corner a little bit and then I used Champagne Buzz here and popped that on the rest of my lid in the inner corner and I just love how it turned out. And just with the three simple colors, I think it's a pretty awesome look if I do say so myself. Just saying. And what I like about this palette too, and I didn't know this about Buxom eyeshadow palettes because I have never had any, but you can actually slide this out and pop out each shade and move them around if you want to. You can put different shades in there if you want, and I think all of Buxom's eyeshadow palettes are like that, but I am not completely sure. Those of you who use Buxom already are looking at me like I'm crazy because I didn't know that. But I just think that's a cool little aspect of this eyeshadow palette that you can pick and choose the shades that you want to have in there. But yeah, I like it. It's a nice palette. And thank you to Nicole for getting it for me for my birthday. I love it. But that is it for my December favorites. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as frequently or as much as I was before. I have been down with something. I caught some type of bug at work or something and it went around. I, it's like gone around our entire work like twice already and I'm just hoping that this is the last of it. It started like the day, day or two before my birthday, maybe the 16th, 17th of December. My birthday is the 19th. And I remember waking up the day after my birthday and I just like, it felt like I was on my deathbed. I was just so sick. So I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much as I would like to, but we'll get there. We're gonna make 2018 a great year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you know when I upload. 
We did not hit 100 subscribers before the end of the year, but I know that we can hit it very, very soon because you guys are just the best. Also, you can like me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All of those links will be down below, and I will see you guys next week. Mwah.